Hello everybody, in this video we'll take a look at getting started with Remind for Communication. In today's video, we will sign up and, and or sign in for Remind. We will look at how to join your school. We'll look at how to create your classes. We'll look at three methods for adding students and parents, either directly adding them, doing a paper handout, or doing the web join. Then we'll look at how to message your people and how to manage your classes. To get started, we will sign in or sign up for Remind. If this is your very first time in here, you go up to the top right corner at Remind.com and go ahead and sign up. In most cases, for your school accounts, you'll be able to sign up with Google. If you've been here before, we just go to log in up in the top right. And again, we can sign in with Google in most cases. Next, we will join our school. The way to do this is we come up to our profile picture way up in the top left corner and click on this little drop down. Go into account settings. Then from here on this main page under profile, we'll scroll down a little bit. And of course this is where you can reset your password if you need to. Uh, but below that we'll find our organization. From here we'll do join school and we can just search for our school. Once you have joined your school, you'll see it on the bottom left hand side from your Remind homepage. And from here you'll be able to see some more information. If, you, if your school subscribes to the premium version of Remind, you'll have more features like, like what's listed here. Next we'll go ahead and create a class. So to do that we come up to the top left corner and go under create a class. And we'll go ahead and put in all of our information here, our class name, a class code, and we'll select what school it's for. So I'll go ahead and put in my class name. I can customize the class join code if I'd like. It does have to be unique, um, but it, you can customize it to whatever you like. Basically kind of like a Twitter handle. If you customize the class code, it erases your class name, unfortunately, but then you can just rewrite it. Select what school it's for. And then we have a, this last checkbox down here. I will only message people 13 or older. It is okay if students are under 13 will ask for a parent's email address to keep everyone in the loop. Of course, you'll check this one on or off, depending on what grades you teach. And we'll go ahead and click Create. Now that we have our class created, we can add students and parents, and we can change some settings in the class. So we notice we have my superheroes class listed in uh, on the left-hand side here. Now we can go into Messages up in the top. We can go into Files, People, and Settings. Under settings is where you can change your avatar, so if you want to have a different um, a different logo, you can do that. So if I give them a different logo, maybe I do a little soccer ball. I can, I can change the class name. If I want to fix my typo there, I can do that. I can change the class code. I can still change what school it's for. And then there's additional class settings here, uh, like class visibility. This class will appear in class search and on your profile. So again, if you want this to be visible or, or for easier for people to get to, you can have this one turn on or off. Next, we have require approval to join. Only people you add or approve will be able to join the class. Anyone added by your school will be approved automatically. That can kind of secure your classroom a little bit more. Then there's also other options down here for participant messaging. So you can decide if participants are basically going to be able to see each other. So you can have it on where everybody that's a member of your class can talk with each other. You can have it role-based where students can only message students, parents can only message parents. Or you can have it off completely where participants can only message class owners and can't see each other. This is also where you can select if you are messaging people 13 or older. Then below that you can also add class owners. So this is good if you are co-teaching, working with a student teacher, working with an intervention specialist, that sort of thing. 
And at the bottom, this is where you can archive or remove the class. Next, we'll go ahead and add people to our class. So to do this, we go into one of our classes. So in this case, I'll go into my superheroes class. And, we, and from any of the tabs, it doesn't matter, up in the top right, we'll find this add people button. From here, this is where we can get to our different methods for getting people into our class. Notice we can copy people directly from a Google Sheet or a Excel. So if you have a sheet that looks something like this, where we have our student names and either their emails or their phone numbers, we can just simply copy their info, and we can just paste it right here into Remind. And that'll bring in all their names and all their either emails or phone numbers. And you can also have a secondary email or phone number as well. Notice uh, you can sort how you are adding people. You can add people by student, by parent, or by teachers. For my case here, I'm just going to add some students and click on add at the bottom. So now in five invitations were sent. Under my messages, I'll be able to see when people start to come into my class. Under people, I can have a summary of all the people that are joining in. So next we'll take a look at how we can add people with another method. This is through a paper handout. Now the nice thing about this is Remind will make a pre-built paper handout for you. So all you have to do is print it. So we'll go back up to our Add People menu that we were just at a minute ago. From here, we're going to go over to the left-hand side and choose Printable PDF. From here, we'll go down to the bottom center and click on Download PDF. And like I said, this is a pre-made paper. All you have to do is print it or maybe email it out to your people. And basically what it has on, has on here is directions for how to get either students or parents signed up for your Remind announcements. So method A, if you have a smartphone, you can get push notifications. So on iPhone or Android, you open up the browser and go to this link. This, one, this link will be unique for every one of your classes. And you'll follow the instructions and then people will be able to join your class that way. Method B is if you don't have a smartphone, you can get text notifications and you would text th this message at whatever your join code is to the number 81010. If you're having trouble with 81010, you can also text at the join code to that phone number that's listed there. If parents or families don't have a mobile device, they can also sign up on the web at this website here. It's going to be rmd.at slash the name of your class. And they can sign up through a desktop and they can still get e uh, email notifications or they can communicate on the web version. The third method to get people into your class is through a link. And the way to do this is we go into that same add people menu that we were at before. This time, down the left-hand side, we're going to go down to share a link. And from here, we can copy this link and go share it out however we like through an email, putting it on our class website, sending it through any other messaging services that you have. Okay? When people use that link, it'll take them right into the web version of Remind, and they can sign up that way. You can share this link with parents or with students. If you give parents or students that joinable link, or if you give them that paper handout that gives them instructions for how to join your class, they'll take them to this page where they'll have to put in their name and their either their phone number or their email address. Uh, they have the ability to change uh, if they're going to receive messages through email or through text message. They can change that at any time once they join your class. If you turn on this checkbox for require approval to join, you'll get a notification every time a parent or a student wants to join your class. Notice I have this little red dot next to my people tab, and on the right hand side I have pending requests, and I can see that Bruce Wayne here wants to join my class. He's one of my students, so I'll go ahead and let him in. Again, that will only come up if you turn on that checkbox. So far, we looked at how to sign in and sign up for Remind. We looked at how to join your school, create your classes, and we looked at the three methods for adding students and parents to your class. Now we just have two parts left. 
We'll look at how to message people in your class and how to manage your class. Now we'll look at how to message people in Remind. So down the left-hand side, we'll pick whichever classroom we want to message. And uh, in the middle part of the page here, this looks very similar to like a, any sort of instant messenger or text messenger that you're used to. You can search for individual people to message that are in this class. You can send out an announcement to everybody in the whole class. Or you can see any of your existing conversations with people already in the class, and you can have any continued individual contact that way. And now finally, our last piece for today is managing our class and looking at our history of conversations. So, we already went into our settings for an individual class before. We talked about this earlier in the video. What you can also do is get a message history from an individual or from the whole class. Now, if you want to get the message history from an individual, you click on that conversation. Then you go to the three dots in the top right of that conversation, and you'll say email message history. You'll get an email that lists a, gives you a PDF of all of the contacts, the whole conversation in one spot. Now, if we go up to our profile picture way up in the top left and go into account settings, if we see down the left-hand side, we'll go into message history. This is also where you can get a PDF of all of the announcements that you've made to the whole class. And you can also get a list of all of your participants uh, that are in your class, as well as how they communicate. And then you can also export user data here. Um, this is how you get their names, emails, phone numbers as well. And then finally, uh, staying in our uh, profile settings here, down the left-hand side, this is also where we can find our archived classes. Archived classes will basically uh, make the classes inactive, so they're no longer uh, able to message any participants in the classroom. But if you ever want to re, uh, reuse a class again, um, that's already archived, we can just go to the three dots of that class and unarchive that class, or you also have this choice to reuse this class code. Okay, so that will bring us down to the end here. So today we looked at how to sign in to Remind, how to join your school, how to create classes, how to add students and parents to your classes, how to message people, how to manage your classes. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.